So let me ask you guys something. How important is it to have a secured computer? Whether you're using a PC or Mac or whatever it is you're using, how important is it to you that it's locked down and secure? I mean, for me, it's extremely important. Uh, maybe not with YouTube, since you know if they want my stuff, they could just download it and upload it to their own site. But in my full-time job, patient confidentiality is extremely important. That's why they have HIPAA. And if we violate those, then you know ultimately it results in a lot of fines or even jail time because it's a federal offense. So locking down my work computer is very, very vital for the benefit of my patients and to myself as a therapist. Traditionally, we just put a password on our computer on our login screen and log in that way. And that's all great, but what happens when you have a guest that wants to get on your computer? Do you really want to give out that password? Especially if it's a password that you use on multiple things. So you might have the same password on your bank account as you do to log in your computer. So it's not really a more convenient approach to actually give a friend or guest a password to log into your computer. Well, that's what I want to talk to you guys about. I have this thing called a gatekeeper and they sent it out to me for a review and it's actually been really, really awesome. It's available for Mac and PC, and it just allows people to access your computer without giving them a passcode. And it acts as like a key, and it's all done through Bluetooth, and it works extremely well. So it retails between 30 and 40 bucks, and you can pick it up on Amazon. And if you guys are interested, I'll link it in the description of this video. So make sure you head on over there and check it out for yourself. And you can get it in different colors as well. Now as for me, I picked out the silver one, at least that's what I asked them to send me. And it looks great. I mean, it's not definitely a high quality item, but it looks good on my keychain. Inside the box, you do get a few things. You get two batteries, so you have a backup one, and then you have the one that you're currently going to use. You have the keychain itself, which actually acts as the key, and then you have a Bluetooth receiver. Setup is extremely simple and very easy. All you have to do is plug in the Bluetooth receiver into your USB port on your computer, and then go to the website and download the application that corresponds to the operating system. So whether or not you're using it on Windows or Mac, just download that correct one, and then also download the firmware updater software because you're definitely gonna need that for when they push firmware updates. Once you download it, just go ahead and run the software. It takes maybe two or three minutes to set it up. Very simple, straightforward, and it'll give you the instructions right there on your screen. And then once everything is installed, it's going to tell you that it needs to register the actual gatekeeper key, and it's going to tell you to take it and touch it next to that USB Bluetooth receiver. It took me a few tries to actually get the thing to register. I put it in different angles, but once I actually got the technique down, it worked instantaneously. And once that has been registered and activated, all you have to do is just launch the application and you have a few settings in there. You can do like a test or uh, a test of the distance is what I mean. You can adjust how far the actual keychain part is away from your computer before it just automatically locks or unlocks and then you can test it. As long as the application is running, it's not going to automatically lock. So make sure you close that down before you leave your computer. Now for demonstration purposes, I know you guys are seeing me use my Mac throughout the video, but I did hook it up to my Windows computer. I just don't feel comfortable showing you guys that information because I might accidentally reveal you know, one of my patient records. And again, I don't want to get in trouble and I don't want my patient's uh, health to be at risk at all by violating you know, HIPAA. So uh, there is a difference between Windows and Mac. Uh, Windows runs a little bit better. Uh, I didn't really run into too many issues with the Mac, uh, except for a few minor glitches here and there. I could be using my computer, for instance, and my keys could be sitting right next to me, and it just automatically locks. And it can be easily overrided by hitting the enter button and then taking you back to your login screen, where you just put in your password and you override the whole Bluetooth connectivity issue. Now on Windows, I really didn't have any problems at all. But again, the problems that I had on the Mac are really simple and extremely easy to fix. But what it did was it allowed me to just leave my computer running and it would automatically lock. And then when I came back, once I got into that proximity, it would unlock. So it just avoided the whole login phase. And of course, if I had any guest therapist coming to the building or PRN therapist, I could just give them that keychain and then they could access the desktop. And that's really what this is meant for is desktops, not really laptops per se. But still, it works great for both. Well, this video was pretty short and sweet and down to the point. It's a really good piece of equipment for healthcare workers or if you're in banking or if you just have a job where you have a lot of files that you need to keep secure. Uh, this is definitely a great piece of gear to pick up. Most of us don't keep files on our personal home computer that we're trying to keep secret, but it is great if you have a very nosy partner or spouse and you're trying to 
you know, keep their birthday gift hidden or a Christmas gift. And you don't want them going on because you have some secure stuff on there where, you know, you might be planning a surprise. Or if you have kids and you don't want them getting into, you know, your personal stuff on your computer, you can keep it locked down that way. And it's just, I don't know, I really have had a great time using it. And I definitely recommend it if you are looking for something similar or just want the ease of use to be able to access your computer without going through the login process. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry you had to put up with the whole burnt out light bulbs right over here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, drop me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Leave me a comment in the section below. Let me know what you guys think of this product. I mean, personally, I think it's awesome and a few more firmware updates and I think it will run great on Mac. If you guys aren't following me on all my social media connections, make sure you do so. And if you have any questions, make sure you hit me up and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. And of course, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.